I'm Chris Everingham, rugby player, fitness coach, and avid traveler. I'm also half Filipino. I'm fascinated by those who have the courage to live life according to their passions. This series is about those people. They're the authors of their own life's adventures, and this is their story. Bukulit is a city that sits in a junction between two worlds. You have a city overflowing with heritage and tradition, ancestral homes on every corner, and sugar plantations as far as the eye can see. Restaurants that have been here for generations continue to serve amazing food following this same original recipe. On the flip side, Bukulut is now seeing the need to innovate without breaking away from the city's traditional past, changing how they run their businesses, exploring new and sustainable ways to protect their land and farming communities, proving that Bukulut is much more than a sleepy farm town. Today I'm meeting David Oichat, a Bukulut resident who's into sustainable agriculture. He's got his eyes looking ahead to the future of the city, yet his roots and passions keep him firmly grounded to the past. Thanks, David, for picking me up. I've never been here in Bacolod. I'd love to know more about it. Well, for the most part, Bacolod is, as you can see, we're a modern city. We have close access to nature and the farms. You'll see a panoramic view of the mountains as well. So I guess it's this combination of like um, this modern and farm lifestyle that gives Bacala that's sort of laid back feel. People here just tend to be a little more relaxed. And of course you got the Inasal here. There's more to Bacala than just the Inasal. Of course, Inasal is our mainstay and we love our Inasal. We are also known for our sweets. We love our sweets because of the sugar industry here. Yeah. But what's what's really happening here is there's this um, shift towards the slow food movement. And there are certain cafes that source everything locally and actually provides these dishes that are like international dishes but with a local twist by using all ingredients like sourced locally you know so what this movement brings about to is going back to our roots to cooking real food but also ties into the whole slow food movement i guess that's good yeah we want to try some of these other foods that you're talking about So David, thank you for bringing me here. Your accent sounds a little bit different. Did you grow up here? I grew up here for the most part, but I moved to the States for college and I stayed there for six years. I wanted a more laid back lifestyle because I was working myself to death. I decided to come back for a change of scenery. A more relaxed lifestyle, I guess, in the farm. So I decided to come home and help my dad. So when you were growing up here in Bacolod, what was that like? And then how has it changed since you've come back? Well, mainly the industry was driven by sugar. Everything was sugar, sugar, sugar. And now there's this big movement in organic agriculture and multi-cropping, so it's good. So it's, it's progressing, it's growing. What, what's driving this? Well, what's interesting is the older institutions have actually made a conscious effort to source everything locally and some businesses even go as far as to produce their own food, so it's sustainable as well. And so with this whole culture, it's like, okay, like I know where my food is coming from. I know how it's grown. And I establish that relationship with that farmer. I'm not only providing like healthy food for my family, but I'm also supporting their family so they can keep on doing what they're doing. Yeah, that sounds good. So today, are we gonna be able to experience some of that stuff? Oh, for sure. I'm gonna take it to the farm right now. Okay, that would be awesome. Yeah. Bacolod is a beautiful place that sits between the old and the new. But with all these challenges that they must confront, how can they keep up? With a community awakened by the reality that farming, as they've always known it to be, comes at a great cost, they are inspired to explore new ways of running their kitchens and consciously sourcing their food. It's with the help of people like David that keeps this movement going. Thank you.